itch, itch itch.io, itch.io, itch.io. I'm going to call it itch.io because it sounds like a cereal. I swear, sometimes Google Images really strikes gold. What the hell is itch.io? Well, itch.io is a website that has a motherfucking fuck ton of indie games. Games like Do Not Take Your Eyes Away From The Red Fridge. Oh, and Among Us is there too. And a while back, I told you guys how much indie games mean to me and how much it means to me that I try to do whatever signal boosting I can to indie games that really need attention. Because to me, indie game developers are the true working men. An average Joe Blow schmo that also blows hoes, like the rest of us. And a while back, Itch.io had this big COVID sale where a whole bunch of games that cost money were now free. So what that meant to me is I could mass download a fuck ton of indie games, play them for you guys, and tell you whether or not you need to play this game. I downloaded over 150 games. Now there's no damn way I'm going to review 150 games in one video, so we're gonna make this a series. This is the Itch.io Grab Bag. <laughs> Now, when I was downloading these games, I only had one rule. I could not look it up. I didn't want reviews clouding my opinion. I wanted to make up my own mind about these games. And if you want to play any of these games for yourself, link in the bibbidi boo That is the point, after all. The Dark Forest Guardians. Now, what is this? Gameplay footage. Okay, the graphics look pretty decent, all except for uh, clouds.jpg back there. Ooh, we got some unskippable lore right off the bat, huh? Let's see. A part of the Great Wall was broken. King doesn't seem to care about the life that all who asked for help were lost to the king hasn't returned until now maybe something restrained. Hey, compadre, no habla inglés? Si habla español? Hablas inglés como si te faltara en pedazo de cerebro. You have to reread that every time you die, by the way. What's this, escape to pause? Huh, checks out. Okay, apparently I'm dying in spikes and I have no earthly idea because there's nothing that tells me that other than my life going down. Normally a game will give you a noise or an animation, some kind of clear thing that you're getting hurt, but no, this thing just takes your life away. It's kind of like college. The music in this game isn't much to write home about, it's just an 8 second loop that repeats over and over. Push A to use the blue flowers, okay? Either my A button is broken or it does absolutely fuck all. My A button works. Check it out, you can hurt these dudes without the sword even touching them. Do not enter the water, is contaminated. I-10s box, broken I-10s box to get I-10s. That's funny, that made me laugh so much I cane. I'm sorry guys, I know I'm picking on this game a whole bunch and somebody probably worked really hard on this game, but it, I'm showing you everything interesting about it. This game is actually kind of boring. There ain't that many enemies in the game and the enemies that are there are all the same generic thing. You walk too damn slow for how long the stage is. The sword feels sluggish and clunky, so there you go, there's your criticism. I don't know, maybe the developer makes something better than this now or he's gonna polish this one day. I hope they do. There's potential here, it's just not there right now. And Get a proofreader, damn it. This one is called Strange Island, and I think Vinny has played this before. I swear I recognize it. The question is, are we a bad enough dude to escape Strange Island? Oh. I guess we are. We are leaving the building like Elvis. We are gone. Hey, Flat Earthers, when you go on the other side of the world, is this what it looks like? Oh, it just spawned us in a little house. Damn, somebody asked this guy what the FOV should be, and he said, yes, gum. look at this. I kept trying to use my controller to play this, but I never could get the right analog stick to work, so I had to use my pad and the mouse at the same time. It was ridiculous. Here I tried to do some first-person platforming, which is easily my least favorite thing in a first-person game of any kind. You know what? Nah, I'm good. Rule the world in peace! And some really unfitting music. I feel like I'm about to watch a cartoon, not play an RPG. Is this RPG Maker? It's got to be. Okay, this guy is so much of a Philip, he spells it with two Ps. <laughs> Slime hasn't been damaged. <laughs> Slime still hasn't been damaged. Well, he sure as hell damaging me. In fact, he gets to hit me twice. I don't know what's up with this game, but this is the first enemy in it, and none of my attacks land, and he ends up killing me. See, Philippus dead.
You know what? I'm always scared I'm going to review one of these games and somebody's going to tell me, Stu, the person that made this game had stage five brain cancer and it was his dying wish that he make a video game and put it on itch.io for everybody to buy and you just made fun of it. How dare you? It is a blessed miracle that they were even able to make a video game. You are a fucking monster and you should be canceled. One day I will wake up to death threats like that and I will say... The game still sucks, motherfucker. I say it because this feels like that. Like I'm making fun of something that's gonna get me in trouble. And it's so easy to make fun of because there's so much ingrish in this game too. I just pack my seven things. It doesn't hurt. I don't feel so good. Oh shit, is she about to get thanos <laughs> I was joking. Short before her death, she gave you a thing more powerful than anything you've ever seen. She will raise to heaven with a pure soul far away from any pain. I would show you more of this game, but I literally cannot because I cannot beat any of the enemies in this game. I have no idea what the deal is. Oh, hell yeah. Now that's a game over screen. We, we got the fire. We got the lightning. We got the th this thing and we got the fucking yeah darkness falls oh fuck yeah you knew i couldn't do an itch.io game without doing something horror related oh hell is this resident evil 7 oh these graphics are pretty nice too check this out might actually be a decent game where are my things wait what what come on come on you instantly get a machine gun as soon as you start not only do you get an fn scar machine gun that's worth tens of thousands of dollars but it also has a ten dollar mag light flashlight on the side of it what the fuck people ain't done that shit since the 90s i'm sorry i get all gun nutty when i see shit like this and it's way too bright dude turn that fucking bloom down man blah 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 you've been poisoned i have the cure come kill me blah 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 what is this font let me tell you how much i want this to be resident evil i just tried to pick this little plant up thinking it was a red herb i'm starting to think i really need to bring down the resolution on these games when i'm recording it with my potato laptop because again my recording turned out shit it runs a smooth 60 i promise you that i'll give him that there's something weird going on with the reloading if you reload the gun while it's still got a full magazine, you just lose that ammo. Oh no, oh no, look what this sign says. Get out. Or else you will die. Right on cue. Yo, Baphomet, what's going on, my man? How's your mama now? Jokes aside, if that was a PS2 game, this would be a save point. Oh, here's some more lore. No, they didn't. Is it Comic Sans? It's gotta be. Oh, okay, it's not. But the fact that I thought it was is a clear sign that graphic design is not this man's passion. There is actually some kind of enemy to shoot in this game. It's some kind of demon with a face on its chest. Now, how the fuck does that work? What if you put on a shirt? Answer that. What do you do if you put on a shirt? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I had the word pad window open. Not really, but it kind of looks like that. I don't know. The graphics are great in this game, but that's about all that's really good. It's a little too linear and repetitive, and all I've done is killed monsters and read bad fonts. VHS 1986. Now, this one is interesting, and this one held my attention. You have four VHSs that you have to watch on your TV to find secret symbols that match this thing that's up on your wall. Now this VHS footage is really interesting because it looks like they used an actual antique camcorder to record all this footage and it's recorded over something else apparently. Because now and again it'll show footage from something from a local show. And these TV shows that only aired in certain cities are definitely some lost media. I can't stress enough how good this new footage looks that they made. Looks exactly like the tapes I have in my sex dungeon. I wonder if you could consider this an FMV game because most of this game is about pre rendered video. Well, Night Trap, this is not, and this is actually a good thing. I like this game. Last word. Okay, this is a weird one, y'all. It's an RPG, but you don't kill people. You don't hurt people. You don't use swords. You don't use guns. You don't use that big anime gun sword thing. You battle somebody by talking to them. Battling somebody with your words is called discourse in this game. Discourse? I got one of those. All my patrons are there. What I don't like about this game is the characters. Everybody in here is a rich person. I hate rich people. And they're the worst kind. They're the posh, fancy, schmancy kind that's all like, mm, Yes, I say, Georgia. Do be a dear and bring me another bowl of boiled 
wild snails. I would love to shove them up my butthole. <laughs> yes. Now, here's how the battle system works. Your attacks are conversation, and the conversation depends on, like, how powerful you want it to be. But basically, all you're really doing is filling up power meters. And once you fill your power meters up enough, you can do the super attacks. So how you win a battle, it really depends on how you word things. Like, you could say, I hope your grandma dies. But that's not powerful enough. You need to say, I hope your grandmother gets gangbanged by a bunch of feral dogs, gets pregnant, has a dog-human hybrid, the dog-human hybrid gets on her face and eats it off, and then throws it back up on her fucking skull. And your mother sees it. That's how you get experience points, boys. Just talking to characters is another big thing in this game, too. Like, there's topics you can talk about that you can unlock, and then unlock more things to talk about. Wrap your no-face-having grandma head around that. The game in and of itself just seems really interesting and weird. I want to play it some more and just see how I like it. RPGs demand a lot of time out of you, so I didn't really play this that much because I knew that, but I want to come back to this. I'm not going to make a video about it or anything, but I'm definitely going to play it some more off the cuff. Bleed. Fuck, this game was awesome. It's a side scroller where you shoot the fuck out of everything and everything's trying to kill you and you can triple jump and you have a lot of guns and... Uh, Oh, it's so good! Everything's so damn fast-paced. In fact, they have a bullet time to kind of slow it down. And you really need to master that bullet time or else you're going to get your ass kicked. I used a PS3 controller to play this game, and I noticed to shoot, you have to use the right analog stick. Not to aim, but to shoot. You automatically shoot depending on where you have the right analog stick. It was weird at first, but I got used to it, and man, I couldn't imagine a different way to play this game. You get points from blowing shit up, and every time you blow shit up, you can buy more shit. The flamethrower was my favorite, and it really makes the boss battles way easier. By the way, these boss battles, they are some real bullet hell enter the gungeon shit. But it's worth it because it's so damn fun. And apparently I'm not alone in thinking that. I did look this game up after I was done with it because I was interested to know if anybody else knew about this game. And yeah, everybody knows about this game. Mike Matei did a video. Games Done Quick's done a video. This game is known. Which isn't really what I'm looking for. I'm trying to find something that nobody's played. That's why I'm going on this big itch.io game hunt. So let's keep going through them, shall we? Gunmetal Arcadia Zero. Now you you wouldn't be able to tell it from this main menu, but this is an NES throwback game. And it has the world's most advanced CRT filter I have ever seen in my life. You can even make your own presets for it. Yep, that is definitely a CRT filter. I don't know how I feel about it, but I think it looks very CRT-ish. Let's turn it off. This guy went above and beyond to make this game look like a better version of Zelda 2. It's even in 4x3. So this is an NES roguelike kind of thing. It's also got like the randomly generated environments and all that, but it's pretty involved too. Like you can join factions and get discounts at shops and stuff like that. And it's got a soundtrack worthy of a Mega Man game. <laughs> I mean, roast me alive and sing Yankee Doodle to my corpse. That's some pretty decent music. Oh shit, boss battle, here comes that insane NES difficulty. Or not. I don't know if it's just the nature of the RNG or something like that, but I got some pretty powerful weapons right from the get-go. And I went through some of these damn bosses like a hot knife through butter. Game overall felt easy, but not too easy. About like shooting a paraplegic. Never mind, fuck what I said. They're throwing enemies at me like it's going out of style. Shit. Guys, have you ever beaten a boss and died while trying? That's some straight up Hollywood shit right there. That's your homework for today. Put in the comments section a movie where where the good guy and the bad guy kill each other. Blasting Agent Ultimate Edition. Okay. I don't know about this one. It seems kind of dated. Like it's lost in that first era of retro games. Like 2009 or so. I could say that and it actually be from 2009. I don't know. But then again, I'm just talking about the visuals. The gameplay itself seems okay. I'll tell you exactly what this feels like. This feels like those side-scrolling Duke Nukem games. You know, before Duke Nukem went, damn. 
Damn, my ass is three-dimensional. The game throws you a big difficulty spike later on because there comes these guys that are like super freaking fast and they tear your ass up. You're supposed to be getting all these gun upgrades that are like hidden in spots, but I was super bad at trying to find them all. So I ended up with too weak of a gun for these levels. You know what? It's a good game. It gets a pass. I think I'll try it again. Check, check, ref, check, ref, 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 yeah. Blit! This game is called Blit! And boys, let me tell you, Blit has got an awesome theme song. Rail me with a spike dildo and call me daddy. This is my favorite type of 80s rock right here. Well, as for the game itself, well, look at it. It's, it's one of those shmups, you know, where you're a spaceship and you're shooting all the shit around you. You know, Thunder Gradius type Delta Rune. Hello, Stu from the past. This is Stu in the future. I wanted that song so bad, I looked it up, and it turns out every sound effect and song on this game is from a free sound effects library. Even the models are free assets from some website. Pretty easy to make a game when you use stuff that already exists. It's almost like YouTube poop. Elephant Hunter Hunter, you're a dog that is a sniper. Wow, is this the sequel to Combustion? You got a bunch of elephants and you got a bunch of people who want to kill them. And you got to kill them first. The further you progress, the more wise they start getting to you. They start getting blast shields and hot air balloons and jeeps. It starts getting to where there's too many damn elephants on screen and I just start shooting them just to get them out of the way. Same thing I do to my cats. Quiet Haven. Now this one, <laughs> this one I, I, I couldn't take seriously but I don't think you're supposed to. Now, your first instinct would be to say, okay, who's been in the MS Paint? No, this is supposed to be Atari. Let's try to go in the door. What the shit? Okay, let's try the other door. The other door? Okay, clicking on doors just does that. Let the record show that all the doors do is go. I had a dog that did that. There's not very much for scenery here. Not even enough to make decent landmarks, really. Oh, here's some water. Oh shit, I'm Jesus, I'm walking on water, boys. Man, you go far enough into here, it's almost nothing but a deep black void. I wonder if I can get to a screen where there's absolutely nothing. Bingo, Houston, we have total darkness. Let's see if there's anything in the car. Oh, you can get in the car. Let's go down the highway to hell and see what we can see. I had to. Is that a newspaper? Am I supposed to be able to read that? Let's go look in the gas station. Whoa, I was not expecting this. We got 3D going on now. Yo, my man, where'd you get all that strawberry confetti? Come look at it. Could you not fart? That's disgusting. One out of three pages. Oh, oh is this going to be slender? Oh, come, no, no, no. Come on, man. Shit. I was starting to have high hopes for the game until I saw that. Can I get in this house? Oh shit, it's another one. I'm getting fucked at both ends by zombie cocks. Now I'm getting chased by bloody zombie children or something like that. There's a bunch of them. Look at them. They make a beautiful noise too. What a lovely singing voice you must have. Nah, I'm good. Police force. Now this is by the same guy. Let's see if he can redeem himself. So we are a cop and we're answering to a domestic disturbance and the disturbing individual they're in. We have to gather evidence and then we have to kill the guy. Coke, there's some damning evidence right there. Oh, Fuck you, Coke. Here. Here's an interesting thing. You get a gun, but you can't open the doors if you equip it. You have to unequip it. Maggots inside my brain made me go insane. That sounds like song lyrics. I just looked it up. There's no song with that lyrics. Hey. Oh no, they killed Minecraft Steve. Oh shit. I'll say this, this game has got atmosphere and I like that atmosphere. It's And it's got like this blurry filter over it that makes it even better. This has got some puppet combo vibes. Man, it's dark in here. <gasps> No, uh, no, 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 I don't do mannequins. No, that shit's fucked. No, uh-uh. Is this gonna be like condemned? Is that fucker gonna follow me? Cause, uh, -uh. no, no. For real though, I don't like mannequins. The ones that don't have a head are okay. That's fine. It's the ones that have a face. The smile is not real. It does not have a soul. That's fucked. And if I see a hundred mannequin pictures sent to me on Twitter, I'm gonna do some blocking. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Who am I kidding? You're going to. Yeah, we are getting out of here right now. Was that that fucking mannequin? Well, we are now headed to the basement. No, no, uh-uh. 
no, 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 Now guys, we're just having fun right now, but when I recorded this footage and that happened, I let out what may be the loudest, girliest scream I have ever made in my entire life, and I wish I would have recorded it. Guys, I don't know very many people that like jump scares, and I am not one of them either, but that is the closest I ever came to shitting myself. You know what? Police force, you win. You're better than Quiet Haven, and your developer is a good man. I wanted scary, I got scary. I have a happy ending, though, because I played this again and I managed to kill the guy. But those mannequins, you can't kill what isn't alive. We're gonna do another game now, but first, I have to go to the bathroom, and then I have to load all my guns and lock all my doors. Now, guys, I saved the best games for last, because this is funny to me and only me, but it is so funny to me. The more I looked on Itch.io for games, the more I saw all these stupid, edgy-sounding titles and shit. And some of them just make me laugh. You know, shitty stuff like, Don't go in the woods. Slaughter under moonlight, which looks cool, I'm not gonna lie. I even started doing this game where I would come up with a stupid name and see if it actually existed. The first one I came up with was The Bloodinator. Yes, there is a Bloodinator. And it sucked so bad I didn't even bother recording it. It was like a Newgrounds game. Then I remembered Motorhead had a song called Killed by Death. There's no kill by death, but there is Don't kill death or die trying. City death kill too. Killed in death. Kill virus kill. And let's kill Jeff the Killer. The Asylum. There's five games called Kill or Be Killed. And I decided, what if I just look for Kill Death? Yes, we combine the killing power of kill with the deadly deathing power of death, and we swish them together, and we come up with the ultimate in game horror itchio shit, kill death. And I'm here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, there is not one, but two games called kill death. Yeah! Let us play kill death, kill death, kill death. This is kill death? Yes, Kill Death is an Atari 2600 style game in the style of adventure for the 2600. Did I just get stuck? Okay, let's try that again. Oh, I see this is where the death comes in. You gotta kill these little dudes, Kill Death. I believe in you. Wait, is Kill Death the boss of the game or is it me? Okay, so when you get hit, you go back to the start, but you get to keep all your stuff. Just moving along. Oh, that noise does kill me with lots of death. Oh, I got to the boss of the game and maybe he's the one who's killed death. He does have a scythe. I didn't beat him though. And it made me feel bad because I wanted to be able to say that I was the one who beat kill death. Maybe kill death is supposed to just be death like the Grim Reaper. Are you supposed to kill death? Then why is it one word? I'll tell you why it's one word because it's cool. It's not cool enough to just be death. You have to be kill death. You have to be death too, new and improved. Now, like I said, there's more than one kill death and it's made by the same guy. It's Kill Death again. I guess a better name for it would be Kill Death 3D because this one's PS1 style. Yes, our hero is looking very PlayStation this morning. It's the same rules as the other game. You got to build up your time limit, catch a bunch of keys, kill a bunch of guys, and you have to get to Kill Death. The main bad guys are these little shit monkeys that try to hug you. I'm getting Grinch flashbacks. And if they're all together in a group, they will take your health down to nothing. The only thing that happens when you die is you lose some time and you have to go back to the start, kind of like the original game. You do get save points though and that makes it a little easier kind of like using super glue as thermal paste it makes your computer run better i never actually got to kill death but here's something i did do i boundary broke kill death again a game that you will never see a boundary break episode on i just made one for you now we can all sleep better at night so next game Oh, that's all the games are recorded? Well, I guess we're done. That was a lot of freaking games. I got a lot of fucking links to put in the description. Well, if you liked any of these games I showed off, uh, go buy them or download them, whatever price they're at right now. They might be free. Who knows? Tell them Stu sent you. I need the attention. Well, that is definitely the most games I've ever reviewed on one shot. And there will be more. There will be more of these episodes. Hopefully, there'll be more good ones to play and more bad ones to laugh at. I wasn't kidding when I said I've got over 150 games. So we have knocked out another episode, the first episode of 2021. What will this year bring us? More 2020 shit 
or less. We will see. I tell you what, I'm going to bring you more of these damn episodes. Just watch. But right now, I got to go. I left a cake in the washing machine, and I think it's done. 